Hello Taurus, Elsie here to drop a bonus reading for you, my friends. How are you? Hope you're warm today. It's freaking cold here <laughs> in the tundra where I live. <laughs> it's minus 24 degrees Celsius, which is negative 11 Fahrenheit. And with the wind, it's actually minus 37 Celsius, which is negative 34 Fahrenheit. So it's kind of chilly here today. We're staying inside. Thought I'd come here and give you a reading. And uh, let's take a look at it here. Let's find out what's going on for you. When I come to do the bonus readings, Taurus, I do them a few times a week because I'm so grateful the way that you eat up my readings. Thank you for doing that, my bull gang. I am your bully sister. I am a Taurus son. Thank you so much for being in the comments, your thumbs up, and all the ways that you love this channel. I appreciate you, as I do all of the signs. So if you are cross-watching this, thank you to you too. All right, here we go. Let's figure it out here. Let's talk about a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what is coming up for Taurus. Taurus, like I said, I don't date or time these. It will either resonate now or in the future, and that is up to you. It doesn't have to resonate. It's a general read. It may not be for you. I'm reading for 48,000 people. Just saying. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tell me about Taurus, please. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay, well, if we're going to have the Four of Cups, it must well be in the reverse. It feels like somebody here is done with being bored. I'm done with keeping my energy to myself. I'm done with being bored. No more Groundhog Day. We have uh, the Knight of Swords. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Look, I feel like you have an arrival coming in. Somebody coming in hot, Taurus. And I'm, I'm going to say just be aware because the magician's in the reverse. This person's coming in to pull you out of your Four of Cups. They haven't seen you for a while, haven't talked to you. Maybe you've just been minding your business, not really sharing your love energy or emotional energy with anyone. I feel like you've had enough time, though, uh, to be in, in Groundhog Day here. I feel like you're, you no longer want to be in this boring, sort of stale, redundant energy. Mm, the magician, though. The magician, though, is in the reverse. Feels like somebody is um, headed towards you pretty quickly here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. This is the one that's a bit invasive, right? This is Gemini energy. This person has a dual personality, right? This is someone who, um, someone who's who's like barging in. That's what it feels like. Someone who's just going to make themselves a place and sit down at the table. We've got uh, the night, the 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 hermit that is in the reverse. So somebody's coming out of hiding. Somebody you haven't spoken with in a while. Tell me more. We have the three of wands. It's like you expect the manipulation from them already. You know that this person is coming back. You know that this person wants to talk to you again. And I know, I know, I know. Y'all are just like, I don't want the person from the past. Well, as soon as the collective shifts their energy, so will I. That's the way it goes. I'm reading energy here. I'm reading the collective energy, the majority collective, right? We have the King of Wands here. Hmm. I want to say, Taurus, that, you know, the King of Wands has been plaguing your readings. Now, it doesn't have to be someone who's Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. I see that in the comments as well. I don't deal with Wands, I think, is something that you said, Josh. But it, it, it's, it doesn't have to be someone who's Wands, understand, right? Because these cards are energies. They're not always people. It could be someone who is a water sign that's acting like the King of Wands. Somebody who's inspired to step forward and... and uh, take up a challenge of coming out of, of hermit mode and it's time that we need to talk about this. There's enough waiting. Tell me about the magician in the reverse, please. Yeah, I, I don't think you really trust this energy, this person that's, that's coming forward here. We've got uh, the Knight of Pentacles. It's taken them a really long time to make up their mind about what they want to do. Could be talking about um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. We now have the Eight of Pentacles. So I want to say that somebody here is, it seems a little bit manipulative that they've left you waiting. They think that, like, it just feels like this person doesn't have a care in the world. I'm just doing my business, just taking care of me, you know, looking at the bills, <laughs> paying my bills. 
<laughs> that's what it feels like here. And somebody's just taking their good sweet time. And it feels like it's a little bit manipulative because they know or they feel, maybe they don't know, but maybe they feel like you've been waiting for them or they're taking their time getting to you here. This person really thinks they're the shit though. They really think... <laughs> S-H-Y-T. Uh, they, they really think that they are all of it, right? It feels like this person is, is very um, capable. They're very intelligent. Uh, they're someone who is maybe a subject matter expert. It's almost like a little bit of ego that I'm feeling with the magician in the reverse. And if it's, it's uh, I'm going to say that this person is maybe unaware. It feels like that they don't have an awareness that this is how people perceive them. Um, that's how that's how they're being perceived in this reading, for sure, if that's not who they are. Um, and then we have the Four of Wands. So this person might be someone who could be a realtor. They could be someone who sells houses. They could be someone who builds houses, a contractor. It feels like that they have a job that has to do with people's homes. Um, they go over the details. They could be a home inspection person. Uh, it feels like this is someone who, who has a, a, a skill um, that is innate that they were born with. This person takes their sweet time and... Um, Yeah, and it feels manipulative. They're taking their sweet time. Now, if the, the energies that I were talking about doesn't doesn't match what you're going with, like if someone isn't into isn't a realtor or into houses or into house inspections, I feel like um the four of wands is telling me that this person is holding themselves back, going over the details maybe of a conversation you had with them, going over the details of this relationship or how you connect to them in the pentacle world. And although they know that the Four of Wands is a possibility with you, it's like it feels really manipulative. Tell me about this Knight of Swords, please, because I think that's who we're talking about. It's like somebody who's got a little bit of an ego because someone told them they're really good at something. And they think that that applies in all parts of, of, of their life. Look, you may have a PhD, you may be a doctor, but you don't know anything about tarot. Do you know what I mean? Just because you have a PhD, it doesn't mean you know everything. It doesn't get applied to everything that way. And it feels like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling somebody here, Taurus, who feels kind of egoic. Like, yeah, once I know one thing, I know it all. And I'm just going to wait because I'm a good catch. Tell me about the uh, Knight of Swords here. Knight of Swords is the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So it feels like somebody is, is charging in here toward you. Uh, the Queen of Coins is here, right? That's you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. And hmm, I want to say that you don't really need this person. It's not a... a um, it's not that you need this person because you're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles, which is someone who's taking care of their own business. Um, and if it's not a business that you have, it's like you're taking care of business, right? You're you're confident. You look good. You've had some sort of a glow up. Um, since, since this person is not in your life at this moment, I think, you've had some sort of a glow up. You're really focused on the self. I feel like you dream of owning a business. You dream of being this person who's confident. And as you dream it, I think you become it because the Queen of Pentacles is here. It feels like you start out with the Nine of Pentacles and you grow into the Queen. So I feel like you really don't need this person. It feels like a lot of ego over there that this person's like, yeah, Taurus is going to call me. Eventually they're going to call me. I'll just wait on it because, you know, I'm, I'm all of it. Tell me about the Four of Cups in the reverse, please. Put the Nine of Cups. We've got the Hanged Man in reverse. Yeah, you've, you've made a decision here. It's like, I don't need this person. <laughs> I don't need them. The Two of Swords is here. It's like, I've got enough balance in my life without them. I'm just going to block them and keep them blocked because they're manipulative. And uh, the hanged man in the reverse is the realization. The realization I'm going with my gut. The realization is I just need to put the blocks in place and then I can be happy. Nine of cups. I can be happy by myself. So coming out of this four of cups energy, a place where you were kind of like stuck and stagnant and it was a bit redundant, like you just didn't know what to do from there. I feel like you... The hanged man in reverse tells me you come to an aha moment or a, a realization here that you just need to block this person, that they are not for you. Tell me about the uh, the three of wands, please. 
and the King of Wands. Now, I'm just going to say that I feel like that the King of Wands energy might be yours, Taurus, that you're the one that's feeling inspired. You're feeling inspired to come out of hermit mode. You're feeling inspired to step forward, to uh, go forward and get whatever it is that you want. It feels like you have a fire that you never had before. That you're manifesting exciting things, exciting and fun things here. And I think that people do see you as the king of wands. So feminine or masculine, don't get hung up on the on the genders, right? Um, tarot doesn't have gender. We're talking about energy. So uh, the king of wands, it feels like you, you are coming out of hermit mode and that you have this fire in your heart. Um, you really do know that this person is, is about to communicate with you, though. And I think that you're right. Tell me about the three of wands. We have the seven of swords. <laughs> Tell me more. We have the judgment. Yeah, you're shutting them out. You're good. I think you're good. I feel like you're you're shutting them out. Um, that this person, I feel, does watch you. Um, you may make this big decision here. The judgment is here. You've made this big decision that you're not dealing with the Seven of Swords anymore. It's knowledge. It's knowledge that I get to make the decisions about what I want to do. This person just automatically assumes that you're going to you're going to go for it again. But the Seven of Swords is here. What you're concealing from them is you've already made a decision. You've already made a decision with the judgment here that you're just going to find your own path. You're going to be a student of the game. You're going to learn from your situation. And um, it feels like this person can can watch you from a distance if they want. But you've already made the decision here that you're no longer dealing with the concealment. This person is lying. They are a manipulator. Um, and, you know, I, 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 it, please don't get offended if you're the cross watcher because this may not even be your read. But it feels like, Taurus, you were dealing with someone who was manipulating you anyway. We have the Ten of Swords. And I feel like when this person did leave or they ended the situation, it was quick. It was just like that. It's like they just pushed themselves out of your life and they just automatically assumed that they're going to be able to waltz back into your home and sit down and talk with you. And I think that they're waiting for you to call them, but you're not. Because you know that they're in the Seven of, of Swords energy. There, there's a deceit here. There is um, concealment. I feel what you're concealing is that you've already made the decision here. That um, this person betrayed you and you're not you're not dealing with that anymore tell me about the king of wands this is where you're at now the king of wands energy is where you're at right now we have the king of coins we have the ace of coins yeah you're investing in the self is what you're doing here you're investing in yourself you're investing in your pentacles your pentacle world um your home your work your health all the things that are in your pentacle world here we have the eight of swords i feel that you that you are obsessively working on the self, working on your 3D world, and that this person can kick rocks is what I could say. I feel like you're you're obsessively the one working on ways to replant this Ace of Pentacles. It is going to grow you to the King of Coins here, feminine or masculine. I feel like you're investing in yourself, in your Pentacle world, and you're doing it sort of obsessively. And I think that that's actually a great thing. Tell me what the outcome is here. I feel like this person's still here waiting for you to communicate with them, and I don't think you're about it. Um, we have the lovers. Yeah, you're not choosing them. Nope, you are not. There is the tower in reverse. <laughs> it's an implosion of this whole thing because of the five of swords. So it feels like nothing's ever going to change. Nothing's ever going to change here. The tower's in reverse. Someone's avoiding change, avoiding the tower. Um, you're not picking them. They're not picking you. And so I think we're just going to wait for the tower to fall. So the illusion breaks itself down. And you're just going to carry on in your life being all of this good stuff here. Being all of that. Third eye open, really being intuitive, figuring out business, right? We've got one and uh, one uh, pentacle around the um, neck of the queen here. And then we have the nine of pentacles. That's ten. You're doing fine with your money, Taurus. You are doing really good with life in general here. And you don't need this person. I still feel like they're going to contact you, though. When they realize that, that they're off the grid and you've made a decision to end the betrayals and... You might have even block them so they can't look at you on social media because the two of swords is here. It's a realization. I just got to block this person across the board. Yeah. We do have the seven of, there it is. You're just going to hold your ground. 
I'm going to hold my ground. I don't need to talk to you. No, thank you. I've already got my justice. I love it. And you've begun again. You've begun again all by yourself. You never did need them. All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much, Taurus, for being here, for watching. I appreciate you. I will go, and I'm always back. Always, always back. Love you guys. Stay warm. Bye-bye.